Hi guys, Ron with Lucid Man Studio here. And what we want to do today is we're going to work on giving this item here, this render, uh, a little more depth, uh, a little more richness, um, instead of looking uh, the typical flat render. So what we want to do is we want to go over to our render settings. I have it set to 512 samples. Um, the uh, render engine I'm using for denoising is Open Image Denoise. And then down at the bottom here, I have my color management set to medium contrast, exposure 2.0, and gamma 1.25. So before we go ahead and render this, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna go over to our render passes and we're gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna select ambient occlusion here. So go ahead and uh, check that off if you haven't already. And then what that's going to do is that's going to occlude light anywhere where you have maybe cracks and crevices or underneath the legs here in this image or uh, on this object or underneath the head here, underneath the neck. It's gonna really emphasize those areas and give it just a lot more depth. So once you have that selected and you've got your render settings ready, ready to go, I'm using cycles. We're gonna hit F12 and we're gonna get it, give it a minute to render and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and minimize this render window, or you can close it. I usually just close it. And then we're going to go over to compositing up at the top here. Select compositing. And you can see that we have our viewer nodes down here, and we have our render layer node. Um, you're going to go ahead and disengage these, um, these nodes here. And what you want to do is you hit uh, Shift A, and we're going to add a mix node. So type in mix. And once you get that mix node, you just plop it in right there. And we're going to drop image down into this socket here. The ambient occlusion or AO guy, you're going to go right into here. And then from image on the other side of the mix node, we're going to pop it into composite and then the image viewer. And then up here, you can see that this is what it looks like purely just ambient occlusion. So you can see where it's dark underneath the belly here and underneath the legs. And all we have to do is under the mix node here, take this drop down and change it from mix to multiply. And that will give us full on ambient occlusion into this image. You can see the difference between uh, down here in the factor where it says 1.0, if I drop it all the way down, this is what the image would look like rendered without AO. And then when I pop it all the way back up to one, this is what it looks like with AO. And you can tell obviously the difference. It's a lot more rich, a lot better looking. All right, that's it for today. And if you feel like heading over to my Instagram page at Lucid Man Studio and following me or giving one of my images a like, I greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you down the road.